conflict started in the early 1990s when Armenia invaded the territory of Azerbaijan uh, in the Nagorno-Karabakh region and the seven surrounding districts. The Nine Bedford Row report deals with the 44-day war between the 27th of September 2020 and 10th of November 2020. That report was an interim report. We didn't have time to deal with the whole of the Armenian-Azerbaijan conflict, but the report was necessary as a result of the attacks on Azerbaijani cities, villages and settlements, which resulted in the death and wounding of civilians. And there'd been extensive damage to civilian property and infrastructure. These attacks could be characterized as war crimes and were crimes against a civilian population. The Nine Bedford Row report considers in detail five attacks that took place when Armenian forces attacked the Azerbaijani uh, territories and inflicted multiple civilian casualties. The first of these was the attack on Gishalti on the 27th of September 2020, and it was the start of this conflict. There was an artillery attack which killed five people in a family called the Gerbanov family in the Gashalti village. The next incident that we looked at was the attack on Ganja on the 11th of October 2020. A Scud B missile strike attack took place on a residential area of the city of Ganja and that attack caused 10 civilians to be killed and 19 civilians injured. Ganja was also attacked a few days later on the 17th of October 2020. This time, 15 civilians, including six children, were killed and 60 civilians were injured in another Scud B missile strike. The next incident that we visited was the site at Bada, uh, when on the 27th of October 2020, five civilians, including a seven year old girl, were killed and 12 civilians were injured in a cluster munitions attack on Garasulfi, a farming village in the district of Bada. Bada was also the subject of a much larger strike on the 28th of October the next day. So this was a repeat strike on a civilian area. 21 civilians were killed and over 90 were injured when again another cluster munitions attack took place on the commercial and residential area of the city. So the five key incidents that we investigated had had 56 civilians killed and over 200 civilians injured in just those five attacks. There were over 100 people in fact killed in the 44-day war. But these attacks at the places that we visited we were able to see had been directed upon a civilian population. Uh, they were residential areas. There were families living. Some of those families were in fact themselves those people who had left the Nagorno-Karabakh region and had tried to rebuild their lives in another area of Azerbaijan. We saw the homes that had been destroyed we met the families that had lost their children, that had lost their loved ones, that had lost parents. We saw the places that they were living in that were no longer there. We saw their toys and their possessions exploded around into the surrounding rubble. It was very distressing. So the purpose of this report was to bring attention to the international community of what took place when Armenian forces conducted on the 27th of September 2020 a further offensive against Azerbaijan and started this conflict.